Hey, what's up people? David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to another video tutorial. And today, we're creating this full CG jet scene from scratch. So yeah, we've got nice details, we've got mountains, we've got ocean, we've got sun, and we've got uh, some motion blur. So yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So first off, we're going to make this water um, ocean texture. So to do that, we're going to make a new comp and we'll make it 2000 by 2000. And we'll call this water ocean texture. Hit OK. And I've got this water plane texture. So I'm just going to drop it in here. So and we're going to scale it down to maybe about 60%. Okay, and then we're going to add the motion tile effect. So we go to stylize motion tile. And we want it to be very wide. So we're going to mirror the edges and extend this height up until it fits within our comp. And we're going to extend this with like crazy, maybe like 3000. Okay. Right. Next thing, we're going to make a new solid and we'll make it black. And we'll call this line symmetry. Hit OK. The fractal noise effect. And let's change this to dynamic progressive. And we'll maybe boost the complexity up. And maybe give it a little bit of contrast and decrease the brightness. So something like that. And let's go into transform and uncheck uniform scaling. And you can see here when I adjust these settings, it will adjust the width and height. So we want to stretch this out and just decrease the height all the way maybe about 10 so we get more detail and we'll make this about 220 okay right and then we'll set the blending mode to overlay and then hit T decrease the opacity maybe about 20% so we just get nice detail on like on the ocean okay or maybe we could set it to screen yeah that looks a little bit better so if you can't see it's nice detail but we're just gonna leave it at 20% okay and last thing we're gonna add an adjustment layer and we we'll call this lighting and we're gonna add the curves adjustment so color correction curves and we're just going to darken it like like that and we're going to get the mask tool and just like draw mask around here hit F and feather out quite a lot and maybe we can move our mask just a little bit lower like here Cool. So yeah, that's how we do our ocean. Now we just got to add some animation to it. So we come here, hit the stopwatch for position, hit P, sorry. And we want to move it across here, hold shift and just move it across here until it just like is on the edge of our comp. Hit P, go all the way to the end of the comp, and then just slide it back. So if we solo this and just play it, now we can see it's moving. Okay. And for the line symmetry, we want to animate it that as well. So maybe we can hit it 
stopwatch for the offset turbulence here. Move forward and maybe change this to minus 1000. Like that. Uh, maybe we can just slide my motion tile a bit in there. Uh, we'll probably add some motion blur, but for now, that will work. Okay, so next thing we have to do is make our background. So hit a new comp, make it 1920 by 1080, and we'll call this mountains. Okay, and I've got a mountain background here, so I'm just going to drop it into the comp. I got this from Google Images, so you can just look up um, back, background mountains and then just see what you like. But for now, I'm just going to get the pen mask tool and just draw a mask just around these mountains. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. Okay, once you've done that, just feather it out. Do maybe a few pixels, not too much. And you're left with something like that. Okay, so we've got our ocean texture and we've done our mountains. Now let's move on to creating our CG scene. Okay, so I've got a CG comp here. Um, I made a 720p so that my laptop doesn't die and made it five seconds long. Okay, so let's add our uh, let's add our water texture into our comp, and let's add our mountains into our comp. Okay, so we shut the mountains first and focus on the water. So first, I'm gonna make it a, a 3D layer, and I'm just gonna rotate it flat, maybe about there maybe you can make it 270 and push it down here like that maybe scale it up and just push it back in on the y-axis and then we're gonna make a new camera we'll make it 35 mil hit OK So, yeah, that looks fine. And we're going to add our mountains and we're going to put it below our water texture so it's behind. And make it a 3D layer and push it back in Z space. Like that. Push it really far. And we're going to add the motion tile effect again so go to stylize motion tile and mirror edges and just extend this all the way out maybe crazy like maybe like 2000 okay and then we're just going to drop this a bit lower here and maybe just scale it up a bit and just push it and we're going to make a new solid and we want to make it the same color as our sky as our mountain sorry and just put it behind and there we go um, maybe we can add some variation so maybe you can like duplicate it and then just like move it across here and push it up or maybe down even and push it back in C space even f more further just to add some variation to it. And I'm going to push this down and I'm going to add this down as well. I don't want these dark mountains to be revealed. Okay, so let's move on to our jet. So hit a new solid. And we'll leave it this color, so we'll call it E3D. And we'll add the video copilot element. And we'll jump into scene setup. 
Okay, so here we are in Element, and I'm just gonna go into my Jet folder, and I think the one that I used was one of these. I think it was Joint Strike Number Two. Yeah, it was one. Of, it was like this, and maybe turn up the lighting in here a bit, and for the environment, which is. I think I use like a blue background just to match our scene. So let's see here. So we got this nice blue reflection here. I think that will work. Okay, so once you're happy with that, hit OK. All right, so since we used our camera already, we're gonna affect all the comp. So to do this, we're gonna make a group null. And this will create a null object that controls the jet. And we're going to call it jet movement. Okay. And let's rotate it on the y axis. And we can maybe bring it into the close, closer to the camera, sorry. And maybe move it down here. So that looks okay for now. We'll just more of the settings later, but for now, we're gonna add some lights. So, Control Alt Shift L, and we'll make it parallel light. Uh, make it about 170. We can add a little bit of warmth to the light, and hit OK. Now, if your comps are get getting affected by the light. Just here's a nice trick. Hit AA for all your comps and turn off accept lights for all of them. And then that way the lighting will only affect the jet. Okay, so let's move this light somewhere up here because I want light shining towards here from this angle. And maybe extend it out even further. Like there, maybe control D and move the second light, maybe just in front, and hit T, bring the intensity down just a bit, maybe about 40. And maybe we can add an ambient light, so control or shift L again. And ambient and drop the intensity down and now we'll just get those dark areas a bit lighter okay so that's our lighting done uh okay so i'm just gonna clean up our comp here i'm just gonna hit the shy switch for this and just Um, I'm not deleting them, I'm just hiding them from my comp. Okay, so, like that. Oh, and I forgot. Turn depth of field off. That will speed up my merging process. Okay. Now, let's add some camera movement to this. So, let's orbit my camera. So I'm just going to switch this to quarter res. And rotate it here. Something like that. And maybe I'll move my water texture. Maybe scale it up even more. And just bring it down here. just push it across and maybe my mountains as well just bring it down a touch okay so with my jet I'm gonna push it back in Z space because I want it to be off screen first and then um, hit P 
set a keyframe move maybe move about one and a half seconds or maybe one second and maybe bring the jet in like this I'm pushing it on the Z axis and maybe we could then set P and shift A for the anchor position so come here move about where he where the jet comes and maybe just orbit a little bit just a little bit more and then move forward maybe about another second and then just move orbit this way and maybe we can move the jet a little a bit further down and just orbit here and maybe move the anchor like here okay move maybe here rotate it a bit more and the end maybe just push it up a bit just a bit okay so you should get something like this so we've got the jet coming in and then we now we want to add some variation to the jet maybe like a little bit of wobble maybe just like going to the sides and coming back in so hit R on the jet and shift shift P because we want to see our keyframes and we want to maybe like set a keyframe around there and maybe we don't want to wobble it so maybe just maybe on this side first and then as it comes in we can like wobble it back on its side here and come over here we can like move it here and even we can move it back down a little bit and then just push it down here so it's back on its x-axis and then come over here maybe we could bring it back a little bit just a little bit not too much so and maybe rotate it once more and push it all the way out and make it slower for each keyframe so I'll just spread these out a little bit and highlight all of them hit F9 smooth them out same goes for the camera angles okay yeah I kinda like that maybe we could adjust the timing for our jet for when it takes off but I'm just gonna move on so that's it for part one for this tutorial I'm gonna split this into two parts because it's a very long tutorial and I don't want to like bore you because you may fall asleep so next tutorial we'll be looking at adding some sun and some textures grainy textures we're gonna add some mist um, to make it look like it's giving that fast um, movement we're gonna add some color correction and we're gonna add some motion blur and maybe we'll do a few tweaks here and there as we move along with these steps so as always thank you everyone my name is david i hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations please give a like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below if you have any questions and i will see you in part two for this tutorial